So when when it was start when it was turning over when I would jump the starter solenoid or actually when I held that black wire to it, it kept cranking, 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 would not start. Um, and then we kind of discovered we so we started after we ruled out the ignition issue, we kind of ruled we kind of started assuming it was something related to fuel because you know when you turn the key to run, like if you're trying to run the radio without actually starting the car, you can hear the, hear the fuel pump turning on. But when I was putting it on run, it was not run. It was the fuel pump wasn't turning on. So I figured, okay, well, if everything else is fried, then I'm guessing the wire, whatever wire, which actually is the, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, the, uh, those two wires right there, one of them's brown, one of them's pink with a black stripe. Um, the brown one is the one that actually goes to, actually, no, I think it's the pink with the black stripe is the one that actually goes to the fuel pump. Um, so I started assuming that somewhere up there and ended up getting all fucked up. But here's the thing. Before I came over here to test that, I went over and I talked to Auto Shop and like he showed me the wiring harness, the wiring diagram. And we looked at it, looked at the color codes so I would know what wires to look for. Came over here, looked for the wires coming off of that fuel failsafe thing. And there were no wires coming off the fuel failsafe thing. So on the bottom of it, that actual switch right there that gray one with the wires coming off of it i had actually disconnected that because i was trying to get further under the dash and that was the reason it was turning over and was not starting so the the main points that i want to make with this video because i'm trying to save somebody else a week of their life trying to figure this shit out who because all these issues are different if you have something that sparks or smolders from your motor all of a sudden, all the electrical cuts off. Test the wires as far back as you can see. Go into the hood, test those wires, trying to find, try to find where the bad spots are. Look at the linkable fuses. Um, but the main thing is when you're putting, when you take stuff apart, if you rule out that it, that that's not the issue of where it's going then put the stuff back together because that honestly, that probably, I probably spent the last two days trying to figure out why it was turning over and it wasn't starting. And it was because I had unplugged that switch. So the moral of the story is here. Like I ended up having, I'm going to, and like I said, I'm going to have to install that push, but push button switch over there onto this wire. And in addition to turning the key, I'm going to have to push the push button because I'm not going under the dash and trying to figure out where that severance happened. But I at least got my truck started. I'm very, very happy about it. Um, it's been a lot of stress, but it's been a great learning opportunity. Um, if any of y'all run into problems about this stuff um, and you're not sure, but it's something similar, like something shorted, um, I don't know that much, but I definitely gained a greater understanding. And if you end up having a similar situation like this, um, just leave a comment or anything like that. I don't care about likes, subscribes, any of that stuff. I'm just trying to save other people, you know, a week of their life. Also, I highly recommend checking out uh, if you have like a truck that's an old Ford truck that's from like early 80s to the late 90s. Um, check out fullsizebronco.com. Check out broncozone.com or Ford. There's another one. Um, you will definitely find all the information, a lot of information that will help you. But, um, Honestly, a lot of the stuff that I had to figure out with this whole fiasco, the, there wasn't really any clear information specifically regarding this issue. I mean, there were no start videos and everything on YouTube, but it's, you know, it's just a matter of trial and error. So, um, but yeah, hopefully this video will help somebody in the future and save them that headache. And yeah. All right. Peace.